The NAB AFL Women's Rising Star is Chloe Malloy. I was pretty lucky to have a good first season, but then suffered an injury uh, in the VFL season. Picture a ballerina's foot, you know how they go up on their toes? So my toe kind of dug into the ground, the ground was a bit soft. Toe stayed, rest of the foot went and it kind of just snapped and in the blink of an eye, I was up here. Now I was at rock bottom with an injury like this. I loved, absolutely loved footy, like all the boys I grew up with, we all played footy together. Even though I had a ponytail sticking out of a helmet, you play up until 12, 14s, and then you kind of get told, girls, we don't want you to get hurt because of the boys anymore. So I didn't think anything of it really. I was just like, okay, I'll just go play basketball. So pretty naive and relaxed about it at all. Mum would always drive me, so we came really close. And ultimately, we had the same goal. Mum and I both wanted me to go to college, so she paid for everything for me. If I needed new basketball shoes, she'd get me new basketball shoes. Got to the stage where I was able to represent Victoria. I was recognised by a couple of colleges and I actually signed to go to Virginia Commonwealth University. Four year, guaranteed, paid for. And then the AFLW came round and I was too scared to tell her face to face. So I actually had to write a letter, um, slipped it under her door and then ran to my bedroom and just waited until she'd come down. Um, you know, she only wanted what's best for me. So she's just, I guess, challenged me in a way just to make sure my decision was right and yeah it was a gamble going to footy but you know I love her and love everything she's done for me and if she hadn't have done all that through my basketball I probably wouldn't be here now playing football and um, at the standard that I am. I knew it was bad when I couldn't feel my toes and that's when I started to freak out just a little bit and I'm a pretty stubborn person and I just said to him just give me something because it was a prelim final. I was trying to walk, I was like, look, I can walk. But from then I didn't want to, I guess, accept it, but I kind of knew from there it was going to be something bad. I had no idea what a Liz Frank ligament was, that it even existed. It's kind of the ACL of the foot. So I tore that ligament and it, it's a ligament that runs through the metatarsals, um, which are the smaller bones in your foot. So I fractured the second and third um, and then tore the ligament that goes between those two. I'll let you in on a fun fact. I just ordered Uber Eats. I have not moved from my bed. And they came to my room and delivered me Maccas. That is elite. So I'm pretty happy with myself. And now I'm just watching Netflix um, while the time passes by. Pretty boring. Very boring. The surgery was pretty intense. I had 13 screws and three plates put in. There was a lot of metal in my foot. So yeah, that was pretty, pretty rock bottom for a month and a half. Trying to walk for the first time, it was pretty emotional. Can I stop filming now before I cry? Injuries are, I reckon, 90% mental and 10% physical because looking at the same four walls every day is something that you can only do for so long before you just start to get so over it. Like I'd look at my foot and I'd just want to cry because I'm like, for all my life I've identified as a basketballer, as a footballer, and you know, that was taken away from me. So who was I? Like I wasn't doing anything with myself. And you question like, what am I doing in my life? Like I don't have anything else and bar football and then that's gone. Like I probably learnt that I need other things in life. I'm not just Chloe Malloy, the footballer. I'm Chloe Malloy, I'm a uni student. Um, Chloe Malloy, I'm a friend. Chloe Malloy, I'm a dog owner. I'm a mum to you know, a four-legged pet. So I had to learn, well not learn, I guess discover <laughs> who else I was about a footballer, but that was hard for the first few weeks just because, like I said, I was so up here. Football, I was you know, so hyped to get into next season and next season I wasn't going to be involved in it. Injuries, you kind of just have to flip them on your head. Yeah, it's a bad thing and you know, you want to be Feel sorry for yourself, but I think the worst thing you could do is do that for too long. You can learn a lot from injuries and I'm hoping that that's what I've done and I know already in myself now that I am going to be better off for it. As much as I hate having an injury and I hate being sidelined, I know that in 2020 I'm going to be 
a much better person, much better footballer, much better friend, much better partner. All these things just because it has happened. So the old cliche turning a negative into a positive.